All I can say is, what's that Stevie Wonder song? Pray uh, your love don't want to let it rain. Cleansing us from hunger and greed and pain. Rain your love now for human sake. The only you can give out of this rain. Rain your love now for to let it start. Wash the wicked mind and the sick at heart. Oh. Lord, you need to rain your love down. I'm so tired of seeing these young people leave this earth. I mean, just like it ain't nothing. Anyway. I don't know uh, or ever heard of him, but he's a famous Florida rapper named Riley Bands. I mean, and this is when this social media is just really, um, in, it's insane. You know, uh, it's, I mean, they said, in other words, this guy, he was shot dead outside his own Tampa apartment. Five minutes after making the statement, if a nigga won't smoke, I'm at my crib in five minutes. Oh, his name is Roly Bands or Riley Bands. He was shot outside uh, his Tampa Bay, Florida apartment. <clears throat> Authorities believe the suspects knew and targeted the rapper. The rapper posted on his Instagram. Daring his critics to confront him. Five minutes later, the rapper's post, he was gunned down outside his home. And, um, of course, uh, they still searching for the suspect. It happened around 3.30 p.m. Uh, again, after this guy posted on his social media page for his rival to come. A lot of these niggas know where I live at. The rapper posted to his Instagram story. I sleep in peace. If a nigga won't smoke, I'm at my crib in five minutes. After taunting his rival, the rapper then provided his location. Why, baby? Why? What is wrong with y'all? Y'all ain't got no love. You know, there's a generation, in my opinion, they ain't got no love. People that, I mean, in my, in my humble opinion, you want to get as far away from drama as possible because you've got too much to lose. I mean, why would you invite somebody to come and kill you? That don't make you hard, that make you dead. <sighs> anyway, the Hero Borough Sheriff's Office deputy said that they received a report of a man being shot in the apartment complex's parking lot. When they arrived, Bands was on the ground with a gunshot wound. The suspects who fled the scene had, they had already fled the scene in an unknown direction, and they remained at large. Hillsborough County Sheriff Office Deputy says believe that the suspects knew and targeted Roly Bands. And they've not said how many suspects were involved. Bands was born and was raised, born and raised in Tampa, Florida, and is well known for his song, Struggle, Reminiscing, and Close Ties. At this time, 
The shooting does not appear to be random, so the suspects and victim are possibly, I mean, really, known to each other. The, the Hillsborough County Sheriff reported. He appears to be survived by a young daughter sharing a photo of a child on his Instagram profile with a caption, the only person I live for. Both supporters and rivals of the rapper of the uh, rapper have flooded his social email account with comments uh, regarding his death. Rest in paradise. Hashtag, you know, the usual. But one thing is true. This is so sad and senseless. We have, you know, and this is what happens when you train people to hate each other. It just get carried, carried. Alone through the generation. Um, you know how. Let me just say it kind of like this. Without insulting anybody. You know how you can have. Uh, kids. A bunch of kids. Um, and one of the kids. Get a whooping all the time. Just get beat all the time. He's mistreated. From the rest of the children. Think about this. In the story of humanity and place black people in that story. Sometimes you create a pain body for yourself and you have to work real hard to stay mentally healthy because all our life is nothing but trauma. We got pain body. Our bodies are so full of wrecked with pain that we have no other outlet what is pain but to take it out on one another and just as fast as we bring them in the world we take them out they're not dying of old age I mean they they dying of just young people making choices that reflect how much love and confidence that they had instilled in them when they were babies. I'm not talking about, oh, because they can rap good about their problems. I'm talking about all of us. If we would get downright and real with ourselves and have some accountability, we know we can't sustain ourselves like this. It don't matter what all these black power or uh, so-called self-empowerment uh, groups do. If we don't confront our own hatred for one another, I don't know how we can survive. I feel like we're going to be like the Aztec. Extinct. What we doing to ourselves is on top of everything they doing to us. So I just want to say rest in peace for this young, young man like a baby. I mean, he's just a baby. And they want to smoke. They come with the guns. And they just shoot and kill each other. And as an empath, every time I see it, it goes through my spirit. Having, and like a lot of us in this community have been traumatized by gun violence. Murder, man, this 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 shit is hard to take. And with you young people, I don't know why you so damn angry. Yes, I do. This is the angriest generation that I think black people have ever produced. They want it. They don't give a damn about killing it. They kill it itself. I mean, right in my in my city. These young dudes, they were, what was it, uh, 17, young young men, just babies, had a shootout in the McDonald's parking lot. Three or four of them end up dead right there. You know. And this is what happened when you've been trained to hate yourself. That's why Willie Lynch said, don't worry about us. 
they, them, them, they, them niggas is self. This, this is self perpetuated, and it's running. It's gonna run like a self, uh, a fine tuned machine. Is what it's gonna run like. The hatred that they have for one another, because we gonna keep putting circumstances and pain on them. That allows them to look at themselves and internalize a hatred for themselves so deep that anything that looks like that, anything that looks like that, if you remind me of myself, I kill you dead. I pray for us every night um, because. Ooh, we need it. I also know if I if I'm gonna be honest, if I'm gonna be honest, I think it's real real important that if you know we we have to talk more to our children about their mental health. But first, we got to start with loving them. There's so many of us that don't love ourselves. We don't, we don't even got time for our kids because we don't, our grandkids or whatever, because we still searching for some type of peace ourselves. And it's so sad. But I want to give my condolences to his family, his little girl who's going to grow up without her father because he's dead, been shot, negative energy. It just transfers. You don't die. It just transfers. His parents, because uh, that's their baby. Raleigh Benz. I guess he was taken to the hospital and he died from his injuries there. Oh my God. Anyway. What do y'all know about this? Let me know. It, you know, I never, like I said, I don't follow this kind of music. You know, is he uh, uh, a real big artist or is he local? You know, and it doesn't matter. He got fired, seemed like, from his home city when he made this uh, Daily Mail article. So, what do y'all know about? It? Struggle, reminiscent, and close ties. That's just, it's, uh, anyway, I'll see y'all in the next video.